What's going on, everybody? Check out this clip from the Pre-Patch Podcast. So, uh, Foamstar uh, confirms that some AI art is generated, or it's, it's some AI-generated art. Um, some. Some, which is the it's the album covers, I think is what they said was... Uh, was what was yeah done. yeah it's 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 a very very small graphical it's images point, that's 0.01 percent or even less yeah mm -hmm. which begs the question why they even brought up the ai art thing to begin with just because it because they probably games, have to i mean they they do have to but they don't have i don't really like AI art and how it is currently. I think it's really cool tech. I think there's a lot of potential with it, but I think there's some ethics issues with it. And I think a lot of AI based stuff right now is automatically demonized just because of the ethical basis of a lot of stuff. Stuff like this, AI has been used. If you think that most modern AAA games don't use AI in some capacity, you're kidding yourself just because with facial recognition, with um, a lot of the animation styles, a ton of AI work gets put into gaming. So this should not be a surprise, and this honestly shouldn't even be a headline. The only reason it's a headline, in my opinion, is just because they're using mid-journey Well, that was about, that's what I was about to say. Oh, is it mid-journey? Yeah, well, yeah. So what, Square has got a huge talent pool of, like, amazing artists and even then, why not build a a simple AI? Cause it's, it's it's scraper or whatever else that or something that will just scrape your own art that you have, you know, throughout the game and just generate your own shit. Like midterm, yeah. It did like you, you went to. It's easier. <laughs> it's easier. Yeah, but it. Like well, midterm is the, known to you... go grab like art that and and pictures and well, things like thing... that. that are, <laughs> Hold up. The, the thing you got to remember about mid journey is, is we're, we're thinking about the mid journey that all of us have access to the base level mid journey, right? Mid journey has an option where you can essentially go in there, feed it your images, feed it anything that you want specifically. So granted it, it can either be your specific content or anything that you find on the, on the internet, right? That's the biggest issue that, that Bill has with AI in general is that like it has such a high morality issue of like people can just go in and feed it whatever the fuck they want to it's at that point right but right. that's not stating that that's not what square enix did like square enix very well might have just fed them a bunch of fucking images that their artwork their art team has done and then it, it spit out images for that that's the, that's what they call training your ai it's it's a trained ai model that you specifically have that it's it's trained for your specific needs i mean so we it, could it's very well that, possible that that could be what they did but. yeah we can't say that it 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 absolutely did that but i don't know man like it i would like even this right here it says that you know with tools such as mid jury being criticized by some who perceive them as replaced professional artists like in mid i would have not gone anywhere close to mid journey like you, you could have i don't know i no i it, i think even if they were using mid journey in the way that enigma stated that the stigma around mid journey what, it was only going to create negativity right. with it. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even, if, yeah, even if they did it the right way, it still doesn't mean that it was, you know, that it's, I don't, at this no, I point, think that's it's gonna almost be like the case NFTs. With like, any, yeah, as I suppose, but it's, it's going to be the case with any, any AI driven uh, game or any game that has any sort of AI driven anything in it, right? Like, we've, we've already talked about it in the past few, few shows at least that we've, we've, uh, we've had some issues with AI. Um, like story and everything like that. The, the, and voice the, acting, um, the way the of writing, voice acting, yeah. yeah, everything like that. So it's 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 one of those things. Like AI right now is a very big stigma for the gaming culture in general, and I I I do tend to agree with like some of it on uh, aspects of like the morality and then like theft and everything like that, and like uh, copyright issues and everything like that. But on the other hand, like I look at it as as something where it's it's coming from like more of a good side of things, where it's like you can you can get a decent idea of what you want from like like take for instance sin stuff right sin, sin's like specific like icon that he has right now that entire idea was pretty much thought up inside of ai and then we pushed it forward to an artist to make it better to make it something that they wanted well, they right or that the sin need, specifically yeah. wanted yeah. yeah so that's that's where i look at it with ai granted I thought that's you were not saying how... i was ai generated i was like am i really am yeah i mean you are ai generated yes every all of us are we're all there's in the, no way uh, there's that much toxicity system. in one person <laughs> <laughs> but 
I, I, I lost what I was going to say. <laughs> well, um, I'll, let me ask you a question. Do you think that there is a world where we will get to a point where AI completely creates a game or a game is completely created in AI? Uh, oh, yeah. With AI. Yeah, I think but, that, but what, I think we already be have. Because yeah, right now, I feel like we already have, like you were saying, but it's just not triple. We haven't seen it, like, because it's probably not triple A. Yeah, it's gonna like be it's not like that King Kong game. Yeah, you know. Well, you I'm look. Sure a you, lot you, of you look at. Yeah, well, you, you look at. You look at stuff like uh, the uh, mobile shit. The mobile market. Not, right not, now. not the mobile shit, but uh, what, what was that one? The the day before, right? Like the day before had notorious for well, like their AI voice acting, and and a lot yeah. of that was just like fucking. I, I I can't say for sure that it was AI generated, but I guarantee you that a lot of it they used a lot of it with AI, right? Oh, sure. Like a lot of that was probably done with AI and and stock assets. Yeah. Well, so. I, I also I I will lean on the side where I want AI to continue, but it's more in the preservation of things, right? So look, look, uh, it makes me sad every time I think about this. But the voice for Optimus Prime, that dude's gonna die at some point in time here in the next like probably twenty years, right? Like the dude's getting older. He's not gonna be able to voice, you know, uh, voice that for much longer. I would love to be able to see like AI be able to take that on and that voice has continued to be used, uh, you know, or we are able to continue to hear. Yeah, optimistic. but on, on, just on, the, on the other side of things, it's like, so yeah, that, that it'd be, a, it's a sad day when that voice actor dies. Right. But like, should a company be able to make should, money off of a dead guy? Well, not, not, not only that, but like, should a company be able to monopolize that to a point where new actors that possibly could fill that role, are, are barred out of that role because not, of AI no, but having I'm, the ability to just completely I'm not re, saying redo that, that. They should that it should be like a, nobody else can ever be Optimus Prime, but like I I also think that like I but with, I also with get that, into a weird but, ethical but issue that, there too where people could potentially like they, somebody could copyright your voice and yeah, then nobody well, that's else already like effectively but, locking but with, you out of a job or locking your AI out of a like your your yeah. voice pattern out of a job but with 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 that with being able to go down that route of like the future is you know these these actors or these voice actors or these singers die right where they're just are we going to get to a point where michael jackson comes back and they're making money off of uh michael jackson ai right like that i don't think that that's I mean, they kind of were with have, those like right? virtual tours that they were doing yeah, but I don't, I don't feel like that's I, I don't feel like that's morally based like i don't think that we should be doing that like it's, oh, I, it, it I agree. it's it's yeah. one thing to be like a uh, like a, an homage it's another entirely different thing to be like yes this is new content from michael jackson even though he's been dead for 15 20 years like, maybe I mean, under very certain circumstances i i'm really i've been trying to think of a case recently that they have actually somebody did pass away i think it was a celebrity and they they went ahead and got permission from his family to then use uh you know their their voice and and continue it in with ai it was I, I it was a uh it, it was remember. it was a game recently i can't remember what it was i can't remember what it was yeah um, wasn't that dude but, from destiny but, the guy the uh the guy that did uh, the, um no i don't think so no 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 no, no. so oh, uh, I, thought, I think there was yeah, yeah zavala i thought it was talking him. about that as well um well, but I, I don't think that's the one i'm thinking of but but it, and maybe under circum certain circumstances like that like with the permission of of you know the remaining family and all of that and at that point I'm, is it okay still i don't know but i mean i can tell you right now like look one of my biggest regrets is that i never got to see lincoln park play live with chester uh, as the lead singer and if there was a situation where the family was okay with it and said hey we're okay with him you know with you guys using some type of ai to basically allow this to continue and to be able to, I would a hundred percent go see that on tour let her go see them on tour, be, you know, and I don't see it as like, I don't see it there as saying like the company or the label is trying to make profit, which they are. But for me, it's like, I see it as a, as a homage to, to Chester and Lincoln park and that family to say like, yeah, like I, like I absolutely with, that's 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 know. what I, that's what I'm saying though. That's an homage is fine. Like, like having it to where it's like, it's the 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 grand tour or the grand you know whatever a, a, a new like homage or, or whatever tour to chester where they're going to use it as in in their they're singing his old songs they're singing all the old songs right i'm talking about like entirely new songs 
ba- like it, can can you believe if if Lincoln Park came out tomorrow and was like, hey, we got a new album out, Chester's back, he's AI. Yeah, no, that would, would you, yeah, would no, you I buy get that? that. Like, I mean, I get that. That would feel very weird, like, I, and very off putting. Um, but I do believe that the world that we're going to, like, I, you brought up Michael Jackson. Like, let me tell you something. If if you no, don't it's, think that it, it'll that, happen, one hundred like you know and that's this, sad. and and like like you know i don't want to so there was a creator that launched their own ai like bot that like you can and that made like 37 million dollars or something like that within the first or maybe had 37 down 37 million downloads three million dollars within um, the first like 20 20 hours dude if you don't think that that like is going to eventually end up into some type of ai uh, no, robot will, yeah. <laughs> robot like I, that's where I think we're inevitably going. That's the that's I'm, the I'm problem. Wondering, with AI. Honestly, if if like and and I'm reading chat right now, like some people are, are not okay with you know even the family giving permission, you know, f- to to use an individual's voice after passing. And I'm wondering because I'm not even sure if I'm okay with it. Like if that if that feels right in my own head, if there's a way to make it right. And and the only way I can think of is if we go down a route in the future of of where voice actors celebrities you know anybody signs something but you know before their passing of giving pretty much the right for like you know somebody to say you or their family to give permission or somebody to you know pretty much use their voice oh it's that's coming and and live on 100 percent. that's i think that's gonna have to be a necessity right because that's ultimately if you're not there to make that decision anymore so there's got to be something written in paper right there was actually a really wild uh, uh episode Uh-oh. of Black Mirror. Um what do you say? Uh-oh it's for? it's okay. My the, my Twitch oh, went down, but we're uh, good. This this kind of thing is is very prevalent in like sci fi and well, like uh, if, if you if you ever read like sci fi you know, stories or anything like that, it's very prevalent in, in like a lot of genres that are like uh almost almost world ending like the the world kind of came to an end not not necessarily like catastrophic or like uh like the human race is gone but like think of it more like player ready player one with the world ending, yeah well right? i mean it's... everybody everybody got pushed forward into like more of a uh like a digital mindset and, and from that point forward now you have these these digital stars that are coming back from the grave and coming out with new you know new albums and everything like that and it, it just it, it doesn't sit with me correctly you know? i mean it's it, just, it, it feels weird it, it like i say there's an episode of black mirror that's actually really interesting to watch uh it's of this current season but it's uh mainly where uh it's 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 ai rob are robots being used um in place of people uh for being like sent to space and all this other kind of stuff but allows you to still be back at home um and uh if you take that a step further and incorporate ai into it like i i i mean i'm a proponent of 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 life existence and like we're going to continue to figure out how to make life longer right and that is the only natural way that i see it like med- medicine can only go so far but like injecting or transcending our mind into a robot form uh and like continuously like going I know this is, we're going like way deep off the deep end, but like, that's where I just naturally see it. And that's where I see yeah, quick. Like, there's, there's another quick. show I've watched on Amazon called upload. That is that same kind of idea, yeah. but it's injecting yep. your mind into like quick, a, a virtual reality. Pretty much quick, yeah. uh, quick, quick update that, that game that we were talking about, that was a uh, cyberpunk. That was a uh, CDPR. They, one of the Polish voice actors died like halfway through the development of Phantom, Phantom Liberty, and, and yeah. they got permission from his his uh, family to use the the AI voice to finish that. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what it was that I was thinking of. Well, Chad's also saying James Earl Jones has already done this and actually assigned it a right for his voice to be used. Um, yeah, so, I mean, so, yeah, like, I'm not like, surprised. Like I said, it's what's it's going to happen. Has to happen. One way yeah. Or another, yeah. Yeah. So, okay with how things are moving and how well, fast God, they're moving too God damn you foam stars to, you're the one that did this oh, we need to go back to the microsoft direct <laughs> i know i was just it just happened to be uh that uh, and, and i guess before we we get uh, off of foam stars and we go back to microsoft direct which got us to back to foam stars uh do you think foam stars should be stopped being compared to uh splatoon because no. square enix does no square enix, no. Fuck that. Square enix it's, it's literally splatoon <laughs> it's thanks please stop comparing us to splatoon because we are not splatoon no. um, sorry sorry square not sorry it's, it's i not will gonna, have to get hands stop. on with it before i can make that decision because everything marketing wise says splatoon splatoon 
Yeah, it's Splatoon, uh, bro. It's it's well, literally. I said it, just I said a, it a copy I'm like, this this yeah. is literally a Splatoon, and and yeah. honestly, for for that fact, I I just can't see it it going too far because the that. I think like it has a, a chance. If the gameplay main, is good, I think it has, it has a, chance. a chance. Since because it's under Square's extremely name, popular. right? But it's also very heavily like what? What's the word for like the DVD community? They are very passionate about their game and their yeah. game only. They don't like competitors in that the, scene. The you know? difference is that Splatoon is locked down to the Switch, whereas. Well, that- that and Splatoon the PlayStation really community is a whole different yeah. community from like people that typically play it, Switch. So it, that, I, that and Splatoon really doesn't have that much competition, honestly. Like it, no, it, DBD, no. DBD is one thing. Like DBD has a shit ton of competition, right? Everybody is trying to do a DBD clone, essentially. Splatoon, I, I don't know of too many games that have tried to take on Splatoon. It it lives you know? in in Square's name, and yeah. and and for the fact like that, Billy said that it is on other consoles is it just playstation and uh this switch or just, xbox as this, well uh, it's just, this is just no 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 this is just uh, playstation Foam stars the film stars this, is just gonna be this is just playstation i, I think oh. it might come to pc as well or is it strictly it's PlayStation? just stri- strictly it PlayStation. Is just yeah, it's playstation, PlayStation. Okay. Okay. Well, which is a really PlayStation. wrong move so, well that's, it's also that's gonna be interesting i mean one of these no... few games that launch directly to PlayStation Plus whenever it comes out. That, but, that could true. save it, though, but, like nope. said, because there is no market on PlayStation 4 games here's, like this. Here's the kicker. It launches to PlayStation Plus for 30 days, and then after that, you have to pay. It's th- it's $30 to pay, to, to pay for it. It's really? free. It is free for 30 days, wow. and then it's a go, it goes to a paid, a paid uh, game. They now, I don't know. I don't games. know if they're going to have a, a if, if you get one of their... Ex- higher tiers no that come with it hell, but bro. it's going to be 30 bucks um i don't know Launched. ain't no ain't no shot in hell people are going to play this for for 30 days and be like yeah that's I, worth 30 I still, bucks. I still oh, really, i see here I it's the playstation plus monthly game gotcha right. yeah. and I then still, it go, and then it goes away and you have to pay, you have to pay for it i still don't see this game going too far because honestly i don't see the either, reason yeah. splatoon is huge too is not only just because it's it's switch it's it, it's because it's it's eastern like it, it's huge on the eastern side of things i don't know if this is going to have that reach well it's also the switch this is one of the switches few and only multiplayer shooters like yeah. you know whether you want to call it a shooter painter i don't care it's a competitive shooter that that's what switch has like there's nothing else out there. Uh, uh, so you're, you're kind of right, but you're also kind of wrong. So it's the monthly game uh, whenever it launches. If you download it and basically purchase it for free through the PlayStation Plus thing, you get to keep it. You don't have to pay for it huh. after after it goes off the uh, the monthly thing. It just has that one month of <laughs> if you have PlayStation Plus, you get this game for free. Well, you better you, then you better forever. go out and get it. That, that, that's how that's how most of the monthly games work so that that's actually that's a little bit better honestly, yeah that's a little bit better yeah. i was i was about to flame sony again like if come they, on yeah, if, sony, if, if they had if they had to pay 30 dollars again be, yeah no, well either way i still think that's, i still i mean i have not played the game but i don't February, think monthly 30 30 dollars is is that seems high I will uh, play it. It comes out February second. I will play it. I will uh, stream it for you guys. Yes, and I do. will I will bring it to the podcast yeah, just so you guys can see exactly see. how the game functions. Bill's, Bill's gonna be like, I I played a I played a budget fucking uh, fu- uh Splatoon. Splatoon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, well let's so go. I'm a Square Enix show. I gotta give it a try. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the patch notes. And if you want to join us live, we stream every single Thursday at 10:30 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. Also, if you miss the show, you can always catch us at anchor.fm forward slash prepatch podcast or wherever you listen to your podcast. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the show.